Cameron, did you see signs last weekend that, that the changes you want to implement are starting to work and starting to happen? Yeah, I saw plenty of good signs last week, but I saw them um, probably in our two trials in our first two games as well. I've been really happy with some of the things we've worked on over the pre-season. Um, very happy with a lot of our defence. Uh, you know, to, to be 12-6 down, the 68th minute mark last week, I thought was a really good sign, uh, considering some of the adversity we face. So, really happy with a lot of things, but you know, I want to see some things get better this week, especially around our, our control of possession. A lot of talk in the off season, positive talk that the changes are coming in and everything. How important is it actually just to get a win to try and you know maintain the spirits? I think we just got to stick to our process. Like it's obviously we want to go out there every week and win, but you know what we're. What we're worried about this week is we're really excited to come back home to Belmore, play in front of our fans. We really, really missed that home ground uh, crowd support the last two weeks, and you know we're really excited to come back here. It's always a special place to play here at our spiritual home, and that's all we're focused on this weekend. Weekend is um, training them all today and giving ourselves every chance to play well tomorrow. Just touching further on that, Sarah, like. Do you actually grow another leg or boys grow on that? Just another football foot when you're out there, there's seven, eight blokes trying to win a game, but do you grow another leg at home? Oh, I think there's just an energy around Belmore that it's hard to explain um, until you until you see it and you feel it. And um, you know we love playing here. Uh, we 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 definitely I don't know if we grow another leg, but we definitely feel the crowd support and we we appreciate that. And I'm just yeah, I think the boys are really excited to feel that tomorrow. The, the record isn't great though. That's two from your last eleven uh, in the last few years. The club's won here. Does it sometimes overall the players when they come back here? We're one from two last year. That's all I'm worried about. And I'm uh, you know. All I'm worried about is what we can do today to be good tomorrow. So, um, past the past is history, future is a mystery. We'll just worry about tomorrow. We've seen a few clubs um, who have got two losses on the board now change up their side. You've obviously pretty confident with what you've got, even though you do have a lot of utilities there. Yeah, look, we've got, we've got a um, good amount of depth in our squad right now. And, um, you know, we've got some guys in New South Wales Cup that are playing well and they'll be pushing for selection but, you know, I've, I've been happy with a lot that I've been seeing in those first two games and the two trials. So, um, we're not going to just drop everything and, and change everything. We're sticking to, to our process and, you know, um, if we can keep doing what we've done well the first first two games and, and build on that and be better in some other areas, I think we'll be good tomorrow. Was there any temptation to move the squad around? I know there's, I guess, what you call it outside noise about putting Kruger at full back, maybe putting Sexton in the halves. Was there any... Like to do that? I think yeah, every week you go into selection meeting and toss up you know, every scenario, but we're really happy with what we're, we've been building. Um, there's reasons why people in different positions and some of those things you know, are internal, the amount of work they've done in the pre-season or the, the combinations they've built and the reps they've had. So there's reasons for that and our, our team might evolve over time, but right now um, these are the 17 blokes that we need to do a job tomorrow. Yeah, what did you make of Blake's performance last week? Because it seems like maybe he's needed a little bit of time to get confident in that fullback position again. Blake Tav. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's doing a lot of good things. I think um, he had a couple of errors there that we've actually in uh, in communication with the referees that you know there was some they could have been some penalties on some kick disruptor type plays. So you know he's a little bit unlucky in, unlucky in that regard. Um, but I think he's built um, each week, and I'm excited to see what he can do tomorrow. He's um, he's forming better combinations. He's working hard at training. I feel like since he's got here in November, he's improved out of sight. So I'm keen for that to uh, transfer onto the field tomorrow. How close was Josh Adokar to this week? Uh, yeah, not, no, he wasn't. Um, didn't pull up great from training on Tuesday. Um, responded really well to treatment last week, you know, initially after being injured, but this week uh, tried to train Tuesday. It wasn't great, so we left him out of the squad, but yeah, sort of wait and see. Potentially next week or still up in the air? Yeah, we hope so, hope so, but um, yeah, it's just how he responds to treatment and things like that, but I was really happy with um, you know, our wingers last week in particular. I thought Connor Tracy was outstanding in his first game um, for the club. Uh, Blake Wilson's doing a good job, um, and yeah, we'll need those two guys to do a good job tomorrow. What about everyone uh, sort of talking about Bronson Cherry, his comeback this year? Um, is it likely that we'll see him in the squad in the future? Yeah, Bronson was our 18th man last week, um, you know, so he's obviously close. Um, he's, yeah, he hasn't played much footy in four years, so he's learning. Um, each game he's getting better, but there's just still some things in his game he's working on, and he knows that, and he's, he understands the process behind that. So, um, yeah, we love having Bronson here. He'll get his shot at some stage, but right now he's just got a couple of things we want to see him work on in reserve grade. He looks like he's kept himself pretty uh, fit. When you say the things that he needs to work on in his game, is that because the game has changed in four years so much? Um, a little bit, but, I, you know, I was... I was 
really su uh, pleasantly surprised how quickly he picked up all the movements and, and things like that coming back into footy. Um, but there's just some stuff around, some decision making and, and some just playing the 80 minutes, getting through 80 minutes, which is, is hard to do. Like when you've been out that long, it's hard to get through a consistent 80 minutes and he's well ahead of where I thought he'd be. Um, but we just want to see him keep improving and he's got the right attitude towards that.